So at the end of the year, I always like to like look back and think about like what cool paintball products came out. Like who made the best paintball gun this year? Who made the best hopper? But instead this time, we're gonna make a video about what stuff I like the most right now. So it came out in 2008. Uh, came out in 2019, it doesn't matter. We're gonna talk about what I like the most gun-wise, hopper, tank, mask, apparel, uh, some miscellaneous accessory stuff. So I kinda wanted to do like best pants and jerseys and knee pads and elbow pads and slider shorts, but I felt that that would get long and kinda drawn out. So instead of doing that, we're gonna kinda make one big apparel category. And uh, in this apparel category, I think HK Army are making the best stuff. So I like the HK stuff, right? I really like their hard line pants. Their free line pants are really nice. The retro jogger that's come out a few months ago, we also really like. And I like them mainly because they have a big variety in price, right? They're having those high end free line joggers, or you could get the more affordable style in the retro jogger. They're also making various knee pads and elbow pads. They have the brand new CTX elbow pads that I did a review on recently. You can find that review right up there. They have various prices in knee pads, like you can get the hostile knee pads and elbow pads that are gonna be cheaper than those CTX pads. So I like how they have kind of variety in the pants, elbow pad, knee pad variety. And then there's also a little bit of a variety in the jersey. There's the padded jersey they have. And then they also have that more minimal lightweight jersey that we're seeing become a little bit more popular with tournament players. Not become popular, like they've really been popular for a while now. There's for sure other companies offering like pants and jerseys and stuff like that. Like I really like the carbon stuff. The new Virtue Breakout pants are really nice. But I think HK Army just all around, right? With those jogger pants they're offering in the free line and the retro, offering all the knee pads and just all all around their apparel stuff, I think they're offering the best stuff. And then next up in the mask category, I'm gonna go with the Bunker King Command. So for a long time, I wore the Empire E-Flex and the JT Proflex. I like those masks really for two reasons. They're just really comfortable and they breathe very well. Having all that ventilation on the bottom, uh, I really like, but they're just old school. I don't like the way they look and they feel like I'm playing in the 1990s. Uh, so I want something new and I really like the command to kind of replace my E-Flex and profilers because it breathes very well. Uh, it's extremely comfortable. You can take the lens out really easy. It's super comfy. I think I already said that. Command, I like it. And then next up, hoppers. So we're gonna talk about three different loaders in this category. So I think that there's a wide variety of prices in the hoppers, and then there's also a lot of different use cases. So if you have like a high-end paintball gun, maybe you're playing tournaments, the best hopper you can buy right now is the Spire 3. Spire 3s come apart super easy, they're extremely reliable, they can feed very consistent, they're just all around built very well and very reliable. And then next up, the little brother to the Spire 3, the Spire IR. So the Spire IR comes apart a little bit differently. You take off this back shell and then all the internals slide out. The internals are a little bit differently and the Spire IR is probably not gonna have as high a rate of fire as that Spire 3 will. And the battery life also is not gonna be as good. But it still feeds super consistent and is very reliable. So if you want an electric copper, for sure the best high-end one is the Spire 3. And then the Spire IR is also a very good value. But if you want a gravity-fed hopper, like say you got a pump gun, I really like the GOG 100 round multi-cal hopper. They're built very well. They feed really consistent. I think feed the most consistent for all those like 50 round to those 100 round hoppers. And they're just good. They're just built really well. Uh, maybe kind of like a weird one to throw in there comparing it to like the Spire 3 and Spire IR. But I really like these gawk hoppers. And they're awesome for pump guns. And then next up are packs. So there's two types of packs out there now, right? We have the strapped kind and then we have a strapless style harness. So for the strapped ones, I am liking the Virtue Elite packs. Virtue Elites, I really like because they're so comfortable. Everywhere on it is just like kind of soft and squishy. The back is really nice and soft. And then also these pod holders are also soft. And I think having it just kind of be soft and sort of squishy all over just makes the thing really, really comfortable. I, for one, am actually really liking the pocket on the back. I know most people aren't probably taking their phones out in the field, but like I'm always trying to do like Instagram stuff when I'm playing. So like putting my phone in this back pocket, yeah, I really like to be able to take it around. And then for strapless packs, I like the Carbon CC harness. So the Carbon CC harness is really just a basic strapless harness. There's not a lot of bells and whistles. They're just regular strapless harness. It has those four made pod holders and then the extra elastic ones as well. 
And just like all the other carbon stuff, it's just made very well. I mean, one of the main reasons I like this is just because it's made so well. Carbon also offered their SC1, which is a little bit more money. That's coming with the little like air back pad support thing. So you can adjust actual lumbar support. And then next up we have tanks and uh, it's still Ninja. I mean, Ninja for maybe 10 years now, we've been making the best bottle and regulators. And if you want a tank and regulator right now in 2019, Ninja are still the best. Whether you want their inexpensive rival brand that's only $140, or you're gonna go big and high for one of their SL2s and pro regulators, Ninja still offer the best quality and best tanks and regulators. So I think Ninja offer the best overall bottle regulator combination, but there are also some aftermarket regulators. Like HK Army are offering their Aero Light 2 regulator, or there's the Powerhouse regs. Maybe if Powerhouse, you know, you could buy a Powerhouse regulator on a bottle easily, maybe they'd be the winner, but you know, Ninja still. And then next up, the big category of the paintball guns. And we're gonna talk about five in this category. So for mechanical guns, I like the Planet Eclipse EMEC. And it's just awesome, right? I mean, the EMEC is one of the best paintball guns ever released. It's very affordable, it comes with Planet Eclipse's Gamma Core. So it's extremely reliable, very quiet, very little kick. It's extremely air efficient and just fantastic. It's a very good value, but is only mechanical. And then in the magazine fed category, I like the MG100. The MG100 from Planet Eclipse is really very similar to that EMEC. We really could kind of look at the MG100. It's just a mechanical version of the EMEC. It does have the same bolt system. Trigger frame is very similar, but instead of taking the paintballs on the top, you can put them in the magazine and then feed from the bottom. But you can also take this little cap off the top, put a hopper on it, plug up the bottom with the dummy magazine, and then just use the MG100 as a normal paintball gun. So it shoots very well because it has the gamma core and it's also extremely versatile. MG100, MagFed. In the electronic category, I like the Planet Eclipse 170R. The 170R also like the MG100 and EMAC comes with a version of the Gamma Core. So it's gonna shoot very similar to that MG100 and EMAC, but it's all aluminum, it does not have any hoses, does have that OLED screen on the back, and just has a better overall kind of feel and build quality from the EMAC and the MG100. That's kind of what separates it and then what making it really kind of triple the price of that EMAC. And in this high-end category, I'm gonna go with the DLX Lux X. So I have for like 10 years, really, not like the Luxes. But this time around with the Lux X, I am a big fan of all the changes they've made. This time around, they kind of really just tried to go for it and make it more reliable and a little bit more user-friendly, offering the Lux X Core, and then having that toolless frame removal, I think makes it really nice, and I think makes it a little bit more competitive to the CS2. So it's nice to see more competition uh, in this high-end gun category. And then next up, the pump category. So there's not a lot of pump guns, right? There's not a lot of manufacturers right now offering pump guns. I wanted to choose the Empire Sniper. I am a fan of the Empire Sniper, but they're kind of discontinuing that thing and getting rid of it. So I wanted to choose something that was a little more accessible. So we're going with the Azoden KP3. So Azoden guns, I am sometimes not a fan of. I don't really like their electronic guns like the Blitz and say the Evo, but I kind of like the Chaos and the KP3 being like just pump gun, there's not a lot to it. So I really like the dual stainless steel pump arms, helps keep that pump arm a little bit more stable and really slide really smoothly. Like in the two piece barrel these come with, and it does come with an on off ASA. So overall, I think, uh, yeah, in the pump category, I am liking the KP3. And at under 300 bucks, they're a pretty good deal. So pump guns, KP3. So this is a category, we're just gonna have like a lot of miscellaneous stuff. So like products that I think are useful, some things that are in my gear bag that I use when I'm at the paintball field. So I really like the new HK Army ball hauler. It's just a way to help load pods a little bit easier. You just dump paint in there and you can load pods out of it. Helps keep paint clean, organized. I really like the lids on these things. The shapes are cool. They offer a bunch of colors. Uh, I'm a fan of the HK ball hauler. And then there's two things for cleaning that I'm always taking to the field. The Exalt Barrel Made. I'm a fan of the Barrel Made. It is the most popular squeegee probably ever made. It's definitely the most popular one made right now. And there's also the Exalt Pod Swab. It's just cleaning out pods. You know, you break some paint in a pod. Uh, cleaning it out is kind of tricky because it's like deep and skinny. So having a pod swab, that just makes pods cleaning a little bit easier.
And also in my bag all the time is the Dye, well, not all the time. It's actually up there on that shelf right now, the Dye Multi-Tool. I love it because it just folds and collapses really nice. There's lots of Allen wrenches on there. But more importantly, I love how they have these O-rings picked built into the side. And you just pop them out, you know, they're O-ring picks. I don't know, I like how they fold in there and they just tuck away nicely. Uh, everything's like clean and slick. Uh, I just really like the Dye Multi-Tool. And then also new to my paintball gear setup is the HK Army goggle case. I really love these things. I really am a fan how you can remove all of that microfiber, it just kind of pulls out so I can use this thing to clean my lenses. It's awesome, it's huge. You can shove a lot of stuff in this big pocket that's in the middle, uh, it's made well. Uh, I love the thing uh, and use it now every time I go to the paintball field. So guys, those are like my 2019 recommendations. All the things I like right now, like if I was gonna go out and build a setup or buy a bunch of stuff for me, it'd probably be all of that stuff. If you guys like anything that I maybe did not include on this list, leave a comment below. Yep, let me know.